Hi, look at it, it's a Toshiba Tekra. Broken screen. And it is the uh, Tekra A11-17C. First thing we'll do is remove the battery, of course. And then we're going to start by at the bottom of each of these, the screen, there's two rubber mounts, so we'll prise them out first. Your tools you'll need is a positive screwdriver, a flat headed screwdriver, and we'll go from there. Make sure you can see okay. Right. <clears throat> so we're just going to prise these two little tabs out. And one on this side as well. screws out okay and using a parking tool we should be able to now prise off the outer case which is quite straightforward so put the tool in It's, it's that simple. And down again. Lift the screen back. And we should just be able to pull that off. Pair with your fingers. And then that's it. So these two little pieces here just slot inside. So just be careful when pulling them off, you don't want to break them. So nice and easy does it. Okay, then we get to the screen. Uh, this one is held in. Actually, the screws come undone. That's why it's loose. Okay, so the screen is broken by the look of it. The screw at the side here has come loose. So usually to remove these screens, what we tend to do is undo screws at the top because they're actually sitting in within a frame. So that one there, which is not in, as you can see that's loose. So this is probably why it's been, it's bust, the actual screws come loose. Okay. And this one here as well, the bottom hinge, just undo them. You might not have to take them all the way out on the bottom ones, just enough leverage so you can get to the, you can see the screw there. You can see that. So you've got one there. One there, on the other side, and that was already fell out, the one on the other side. So, undo that. Undo that one. They're loose, I must admit. Unless someone's been tampering with it, but I don't think they have. And there we go. Okay. Gently move the screen forward, and then at the bottom of the screen, you see a little bit of tape. Just leave the tape back slightly, gently, and then you've got your connecting panel. So you just want to gently, that should just pull out. It's been repaired before by the look of it. So that's pretty straightforward. Put that to one side, get your new screen. Flip it upside down. So now we're going to fit that one. And that fits in. And then place the tape back down. I'll replace the tape that I took off just to make sure it holds it in position. Nice and gently. Okay. So I'm going to put the screws back into the side. Oh, 
little bit fiddly. So I'm going to put the screw in the hole first. We might have to move this tape now. Okay. Find it. And screw it in. First. Okay. So we do the screw this side slightly and just slightly undo it. So I can pull out the tape. There we go. Tighten it back up. And I'm looking for the extra screw which I Okay, that's all four screws put back in, nice and tight. And then we're going to refit the bevel. So. Okay, that's everything back together. Just going to put the bevel back on. So slide that in like that. Slightly bend it. That's it. Pull the screen at the back. Before I put the screws back in again, I'm going to tip her over, slide the battery back in, I'll just give it a try and make sure we're all right. The battery's tucked up. There we go. So it looks like the reason was the screw would come out of the screen and then it had um, moved and then cracked the screen. There was a lot of play in the screen. Okay, so final two screws back in again. Clumsy today. It's not a bee in it. Okay. Back 
skin, you can pads. Okay. There we go. Quite straightforward. Make sure the bevel is fitted all around the edges. Which it is, beautifully. Right, thanks for watching.